Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a bias bound waistband finish. This is a really good way to finish a waistband if you're using a thicker fabric and you don't want to fold that raw edge under. Instead of folding in this thick fabric, you just let it hang down and we finish the raw edge with bias tape. I'm using my Nita wrap skirt pattern and this pattern features a straight waistband that folds over to create the back facing. This technique should also work with a curved waistband or a two piece waistband. The only supplies you need are strips of bias cut fabric or pre-made bias tape. Let's get started. For this project, I'm making my Nita wrap skirt pattern and this waistband is in three pieces, a back and two fronts. I've applied the interfacing and sewn the side seams. And the way that this waistband works is it folds over and one side is stitched to the skirt and then the other one, usually you would fold it in and then everything is concealed. But because I'm working with a really heavy denim fabric, I think it will be too bulky to fold it in. So instead, I'm going to finish that raw edge with bias tape and just skip the step of folding in the edge. So I have a piece of bias tape that I cut one and a quarter inches wide, and I'm going to stitch it to one long raw edge using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm stitching this bias tape to the right side of the waistband. Okay, after you get that all sewn down, you wanna just trim off any excess bias tape and take this over to the pressing station. Now, what we're gonna do is press our bias tape around to the wrong side of the waistband. And I will just start with my waistband right side up and press the bias tape away. Do that for the whole length of the waistband. And then you can flip it over to the wrong side and you'll just fold in the raw edge of your bias tape and give that a good press. And then you'll fold it again and press again. And you'll do that down the whole line of your waistband. So ideally, this folded edge will cover the stitching line and then we'll be able to stitch right in the ditch along this seam line and stitch through all the layers and get this bias tape held in place and have pretty invisible stitching. So get this all pressed. If you want, you can put some pins in to hold it and then we'll go over to the sewing machine. Now I'm going to stitch down my bias tape. So I'm going to do this from the right side and I have my machine set up with a straight stitch at 3.0 length. I'm going to stitch right into that seam line, which was the first seam that I stitched. Hopefully I have everything pressed really nicely and I'll be able to stitch through all the layers of the bias tape and really secure the bias tape to that raw edge. And if you mess up your stitches a little bit, it's totally okay because it's just on the inside. So I did a pretty good job of catching my bias tape on the wrong side, but I did miss it in a couple of places like here where it's really bulky from the seam allowances. Um, so I could hand tack it down or just leave it because it's probably not really going to go anywhere or have any bad repercussions. If you are worried about that and really want to make sure it's all stitched down, you could stitch from the wrong side and just make sure you get through all the layers or even have visible top stitching where you stitch right through, like right inside that first seam line. Um, it's really up to you how you decide to finish this off. Now it's time to grab your skirt and attach the waistband to the skirt. 
So here I have my waistband pinned to my skirt with right sides together and I've aligned that raw unfinished edge with the edge of my skirt. So I'm just going to stitch this down. For this pattern I'm using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and I'm just using a regular straight stitch. I stop 5 eighths of an inch away from that raw edge and what I want to do is just go through make sure that everything was stitched nicely that the seams are lined up the way I want them to be and then I will press my seam allowance towards the waistband and then I'm going to grade these seam allowances to reduce the bulk and what that means is I'm going to trim them to different heights so I will just leave one kind of the tallest and then each one stair step a little bit shorter so that I don't have just one thick edge inside my waistband. So I'm going to do that and then come back over here to the sewing machine to finish up my waistband. So now I'm going to stitch this end of my waistband and I have it folded right sides together and this is extending past my skirt, 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna stitch 5 eighths of an inch from the raw edge, and then when I turn it right side out, the end of the waistband is going to align with the end of my skirt. You can see here that the end of the waistband with the bias tape is extending a little bit past our seam line, and that's what we want to happen. When it's turned right side out, the bias tape will be here on the inside and it's going to go past that seam line and cover everything up. Okay, I like to stitch it down pretty tightly and then you'll come with your scissors and trim it down and you can trim just a little bit towards your waistband, just narrow it in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side and we'll turn it right side out. And I'll gently poke that out a little bit with a chopstick or a knitting needle. And then you can see here, when we press everything down, it's gonna be a nice clean finish. All right, I have my waistband all pressed along the fold line and at each end, I have the bias tape tucked up inside. I'm going to stitch this down with the right side up and I'm going to stitch in the ditch just like we did with the bias tape. So I have a few pins in here to try to hold everything in place and I'm using a straight stitch with a 3.0 length. So I'm just going to try to stitch right in that crack, right in the ditch. Okay, so here's a tip for you. Right now, the back of my presser foot is going down and the front is going up, so I wanna level those. And there are a couple of ways to do that. So one way is to get a little bit of fabric, and with your needle down, you lift your presser foot, and you put the fabric underneath, and just level that foot out. There are also plastic devices called hump jumpers that would help you do that. You can also, if your foot has a little black knob with a spring on the back, that will help you level the foot. Sometimes it pops out of place, but it can be pretty handy. So all you do is you lift your foot and you push in, push in the spring, lower the foot, and now it's level. It's kind of magic. So let's try that out. We're just going to stitch straight ahead. And now it's stitching without any problem and the little spring has popped out because now the foot can be level on its own. So anywhere you hit one of those points where your foot is being really at an angle, then you can use that little spring or a hump jumper or a piece of fabric. Okay, then you just want to take a look at the back and make sure that your waistband was caught along, all along that way. 
Um, you can see in some places I stitched over the bias tape and other places I didn't. Um, that doesn't bother me too much. But mostly, I'm mostly interested in having a nice look on the outside and this stitch in the ditch creates a really nice invisible stitch. My waistband is nice and secure. Um, if you feel like the little tab at the end is not secure, you could take your hand needle and do a few stitches just to tack it down. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learning how to make a bias bound waistband finish. If you don't feel like going to all the trouble of doing this bias finish, you could also just serge the edge of the fabric and then do the rest of the technique as instructed. In case you're curious, the pattern that I'm sewing in this video is my Nita wrap skirt. I'll put a photo in here. And this is a wrap skirt with a really fashionable angled front. It's an advanced beginner level. So really the most difficult thing you're going to do is sewing the waistband. Um, there are also darts and an optional lining. The sizing goes from 0 to 32 and you can learn all about it in my shop. I will put a link down in the show notes. And if you're interested in supporting the channel and all this free content, I invite you to go check out the shop, check out the patterns, or you can buy me a coffee. I'll have all the links down in the show notes. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or even requests for future videos. Happy sewing. Bye.